Hi everyone! Welcome back to Muse Confused Art. I'm Muse and this week we're doing a glow tutorial in Clip Studio Paint aka Manga Studio. I have three colored circles here and I'm going to show you a slightly different way to do a glow effect with each one of these circles. So to start I'm doing this on a black background and your background doesn't necessarily need to be pure black but the glow effects that I'm about to show you show up a lot better on darker backgrounds than lighter ones so that's something to keep in mind as you're using these techniques. So the first glow effect that I'm going to show you, one that I use a lot, very simple to do, um, first thing you do is you're going to copy your object or whatever layer you want to glow and you're going to move it underneath your object. And from there you're going to go to filter blur and select Gaussian blur and that's going to pop up a window and there's a little arrow on the window and you're going to move that arrow and the higher it goes the bigger the blur effect there is. I like to set it pretty high but it's up to personal preference. So as you can see it's it's kind of making a little bit of a aura around your object. And once again, you can set it to whatever you like. I just like it very high up there. So what that does is then you can see the layer beneath it. It becomes just a very blurry image. But that sets up the base for what we're going to build our glow on. And then using that same color you selected for your object, you're going to create a new layer, set it to screen, and then using a soft brush, such as an airbrush, I, I literally use the soft airbrush, <laughs> but whatever soft brush you prefer, you're going to on your screen layer just draw a little bit on top of that. And now we've got our glow started. And from there you're going to make another layer on top of that one and you're going to set it to add. And for your add layer what you're going to do is you're going to change the color slightly. Um, when I first started out I thought that the more saturated the color was that the brighter the glow would be but that's actually incorrect. You want it to be less saturated. So what I do is I move my color selection from the base slightly up and then to the left. And what that does is that actually produces a brighter glow. So up and to the left. And because I wanted this to be a warm glow, I, I also moved the slider a bit closer to the orange. It doesn't have to be anything extreme, but it does make a difference. So then once you have your new color selected using that same soft brush, you're going to draw just a little bit in the center on your add layer. And then that gives you the center of your glow. That gives the effect that the glow is coming from inside the object. So the light source is from within and it's radiating outwards. So you can see how that makes so just this really soft glowing effect that's very nice. If you want to do a slightly different glow, I'm going to show you that on the next circle, the yellow one. So instead of that really soft glow like what we did on the red circle, I'm going to show you a kind of glow that maintains the edge of the object a bit more like for instance we've got like a, a traffic light kind of scenario going on here <laughs> so if you want that edge for the bulb of your yellow traffic light this is something that you would do so same basic technique to start you're going to copy the layer and then you're going to select your blend tool and you're going to blend out that lower layer until it gets the effect that you want. I like to make it as even around as much as possible, but it's up to you. Just blend all that out. And then from there we're going to make our screen layer. 
And this time we're not going to use the same color yellow, but we're going to use that color picking technique I already told you about, picking something a little less saturated, moving up and to the left, and we're going to use that on the screen layer this time, and that creates a brighter glow than what we did on the red circle. So there you see up and to the left, and moving a bit towards the orange for a warm glow. Picking our soft brush and adding that on the screen layer. So as you can see, that's already a brighter glow. And if that's too intense, you can always adjust the opacity of the layer, and you can set it to whatever you like. There's no wrong answers there. And then the same technique for our add layer, moving the color up and to the left, and adding that a bit to the center. You can see our glow is getting brighter, adjusting the opacity as you want. And then we're going to add an add glow layer, which I'm sure you were wondering when that was going to pop up. <laughs> so we're going to select the color the same way, up to the left, moving the slider closer to the orange. And then we're going to just very gently add a bit on that add glow layer. Because the add layers build on each other. So that add glow layer can be very bright, so you're definitely going to want to adjust the opacity on that unless you want a blown out white glow, which is perfectly fine if you do. But if you want to maintain the color underneath, then you're going to want to go back and adjust the opacity as much as you want. So there you can see kind of the difference. There's more of a contained glow and you can see the edge a bit more. It's not just kind of a, a glow in the dark scenario, but more of a bright light sort of glow. And then finally for the green circle, I'm going to show you just a little bit of additional things that you can do. For instance, if you want to blur the lower circle yourself, you don't like the Gaussian blur for whatever reason, you can do that with the blur tool. I personally prefer the Gaussian Blur because it saves me a step, but as you can see, you can do that yourself if you wish. And then from there, we're going to do the same thing with our screen and add layers. Up and to the left, and using our soft brush still on that screen layer. And then the same thing for the add layer. And then something a little bit different you can do with the add glow layer, if you want to glow even brighter than the yellow, you can just use white on the add glow layer. And as you can see, that's a super bright, intense glow. So I personally, I, I always like to adjust the opacity on that, but if you really want a bright glow, like a super bright glow, Using white on top with add glow, that'll do the job. <laughs> and then as an optional extra touch, there's one thing I like to do to like add little particles around. You can add another screen layer and then on the airbrush layer using that same last color you picked for your screen or your add layers but you can go to airbrush in the spray and you can just make it look like there are like dust particles or light motes or, or what, whatever you need it to be. <laughs> Looks kind of Final Fantasy VII to me, but, <laughs> but it, it's fun. It's a little additional effect you can do. 
You can also do some add glow with that textured effect if you like. Just a little bit of extra fun, I think. And as always, you'll want to go back and adjust your opacity as needed so you don't blow out your colors as you can see in the preview. That green looks white from far away. So if you don't want your glow to be quite that bright, then that's something you'll want to adjust. But there you go, there's three different ways to glow in Clip Studio Paint. I hope that this was helpful. I know that when I first started using Clip Studio Paint, there were not really any tutorials that I could find that explicitly mentioned how to glow other than kind of discussing the add glow layer and not talking about different ways of using a glow effect. So I hope that these different techniques help you make your own cool glowy stuff in Clip Studio Paint and also encourage you to find your own way of making cool glowing effects. So if this video was helpful to you or if you have any other clarifying questions that you'd like to ask, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to get to them. If you're new here, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more art videos. Once again, I'm Muse. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!